Action. Hello and welcome back to the Outdoor Minimalist YouTube channel. My name is Meg Carney and I'm the author and host of Outdoor Minimalist. And this is one of my trusty companions named Leo. He is a Husky Malamute mix. And as many of you probably know, especially Husky owners, they love to pull, mush, and do all types of those mushing sports. My older companion, Ash, which you'll see in a lot of other photos and videos on some of our other content, he also is a huge fan of biking. And a big draw to me getting another dog was I wanted a dog that I could bike with. And in getting Leo, <laughs> we have had some ups and downs in our training journey. And I decided I really wanted to get into mushing sports. That way he could kind of harness his natural instincts and I could continue doing a sport I love with one of my dogs. So I'm gonna kind of overview in this video how I got into bike drawing, some of the main things I did before I introduced him to the bike and show you how it's done, I guess. Um, I do wanna preface this saying, I'm not a dog trainer. I just kind of did this with some trial and error. I did consult my dog trainer who is a positive reinforcement trainer while he was doing this learning process, but I did all the training independently. And so to start this, the main things that you're going to need is a dog, one like this. You can do this with any dog type. Obviously you want them to be fit and healthy enough to be doing high endurance sports and you kind of want to build up to it, right? And so a couple of things that were really important for me and Leo, one, is when I first adopted him, we did a lot, we spent a lot of time just in our relationship together. And I will say probably four to six months were spent us training at home on walks and hikes before he was ever attached to a bike. So I got him used to being around the bike. I got him used to all the commands that I was using. And then I began introducing the bike. And luckily, since it's kind of built into his DNA, he was really natural to pulling. So I didn't really have to teach him how to do that part. <laughs> Okay, so something that you will want while you're training, especially if you're choosing to use positive reinforcement methods, is some type of treat pouch and treats that your dog really, really loves. So right now in here, I have some chicken jerky, which would be a medium value treat for Leo, and then cheese, which is very high value for him. He would do most anything for a piece of cheese. Um, you also wanna make sure that they are safe and healthy for your dog to have and that you're not overfeeding them. So to start, um, I probably am not gonna show this spot, this one directly, but I'm going to kind of explain how I introduced the directions into our daily walk. So I would be walking him like normal. And instead of saying gi and ha, I opted to say right and left because those were words that I had already taught to my older dog, Ash. And so while we were walking down in our neighborhood or on hikes, anytime we would turn, I would just say that word. I would just say Leo left if we were turning left. And so he could begin to associate those words with the direction we were going. And over time, he began to just automatically turn that direction when I would say those words. The next big thing would be to introduce the harness and then the actual like act of pulling. And I'll say one of the hardest commands or cues for me to teach Leo was the word line out, or I guess words line out. Um, and essentially all that is, is him putting tension on the line that's attached to my bike. So I'll show you that now. Leo already has his mushing harness on, which is like just kind of a standard mushing harness that they use for a lot of snow dogs. They have a lot of different models. This one is one I got from a friend. Um, it didn't fit her um, sled dog and she has a bunch of sled dogs. So she's like, you can just have it because it doesn't fit any of them. And I don't use it anymore and it fit Leo perfectly. So I love that. Um, not everyone loves this style of mushing harness, which we can show you closer later because they can back out of it. Um, so some people need to put a line across their abdomen so they can't back out, but he's never done that and I'm not worried about him doing that. Okay, Leo, you ready to start? Okay, so I have my standard bike drawing line attached to him right now. And something that's really important with any type of mushing is that it, <laughs> Leo, come over here is that it has some type of bungee or elastic into it. So it's not going to load the line really heavily on your dog when they start pulling. So what you're gonna do to teach, one, to teach them to start putting tension onto the line and to teach them line out is find something that you can attach this line to that they're not gonna move if they put some tension onto it. So here I'm just gonna attach it to this table. And this is the line that I attached to my bike anyway. 
And so that way he's stationary and I can go on the front end of him. And I'm gonna start with a higher value treat just because that's how I would have done it if this was a brand new command for him to be learning. And so I'm just gonna hold it in my hand. He already knows, Leo, touch. He already knows touch. So he understands if I touch your hand, I get a treat. And so that might be helpful to teach your dog first, just so they understand touch. They understand that that's something that they should be doing. But then for the line out, I am just gonna hold the cheese in my hand and say, Leo, line out. And I'm gonna hold it slightly farther away than usual. So he has to put tension on the line in order to get his reward. And then usually I'll do something else with him for a second, just to like kind of get his mind off. If your dog is not food driven and very toy driven, you can also opt to use a toy. Leo, not toy driven right now, cheese driven, line out. And I want him loading the line completely before he's getting the reward. And we kind of started that, doing that every day for about five to 10 minutes um, for three weeks. And then I introduced him to doing that on the bike. That's pretty much it. <laughs> If you like this type of content, especially content about me and my dogs, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I will try to keep up with the comments and ensure that we're making content that interests all of you. If you are enjoying the YouTube channel, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you never miss any of our upcoming content. The best way to stay in the know with all Outdoor Minimals content is to head over to our website and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. That way you stay up to date with our weekly episodes of On The Podcast every Monday, along with all of the other content. You can find all the information for the email newsletter on our website at theoutdoorminimalist.com.